check engine lights, error codes. These could be key reasons you don't want a given vehicle from a dealer or a private party seller. But how are you going to know if those lights are easily hidden from the untrained eye? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the homework guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? From day one, I've advised you to have your own mechanic inspect any used car you're thinking about buying. In this video, you're going to understand just how critical this is and how easily you can be fooled by the lack of a check engine light or error codes on your vehicle. Any dealer or private party seller that hesitates to allow you to have your own mechanic inspect the car is a seller you should be walking away from or run if you need to. To send home this point, I brought in a good friend of mine, a seasoned mechanic, to demonstrate what can easily happen to you. Ruben Byman is the co-owner of Longview Auto and Tire. He comes from three generations of car buffs and a family full of mechanics. In fact, his father Steve taught automotive technology at the local college for decades, and three of his sons are graduates of his program. Ruben is one of them. Going back two generations, Ruben's grandfather Ano was a car buff, working on what are now collectors' cars and trucks. Ano is no longer with us, but Ruben's father Steve can still be seen driving Ano's favorite truck around town, a 1937 Ford. Ruben is coming on in just a moment. Before we do that, if you're tuning into the Homework Guy channel for the first time, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a direct response from me or one of the members of my staff. You can also email me at info at thehomeworkguy.com if you have a specific question. And if you'd like a free car contract review, just send it along with your personal information blacked out. Just be aware that we get a lot of requests and we try to get back to everyone as quickly as possible. So please be patient. All right, let's have a discussion about air codes and check engine lights. Do you have a friend or family member who is a good mechanic or owns a repair shop? If you don't and you drive a vehicle, you need to establish that relationship. If you don't drive, what are you doing here today? Sorry, I digress. A great mechanic like Ruben Byman can prevent you from buying a complete lemon and also give you peace of mind on any vehicle you're about to buy. He can tell you that you're looking at a really great car. Do you understand how valuable that is? A good mechanic looking at your car can tell you that there's nothing to worry about, saving you thousands of dollars on service plans and extended warranties that dealers just love to sell you. On the flip side of that, when you find out that the vehicle you're about to buy could cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, don't be thinking about a service plan. What you should be thinking about is, I'm going to pass on this car and find a vehicle I can drive without the significant expense of a service plan. A mechanic can help you do just that. A service plan is nothing short of a dealer saying, your car is going to break down. We know that, but when it does break down, we might fix it. I get to say that because you have no idea how many people buy a service plan only to find out it covers nothing the moment something goes wrong. Today, you're going to witness firsthand how easy it is to disguise check engine lights and error codes, and this can happen to you either from a vehicle you buy at a dealership or a private party seller. Shady dealers and unscrupulous private party sellers have been known to dump problem vehicles with erased engine codes on an unsuspecting buyer, and you don't want that to be you. Before Ruben comes on, I want you to understand how this can happen to you. Dealerships have diagnostic tools they can use to make your check engine light disappear, but cheap diagnostic tools like this one are also available anywhere. Anyone can get them and make your check engine light go away without fixing the problem. However, simply using a tool to make a check engine light disappear doesn't fool a seasoned mechanic like Ruben Byron. Without a visible check engine light or other error codes being displayed on your dash, Ruben can tell if codes were cleared simply by using an advanced diagnostic tool. You see, most vehicles run their own onboard test and check engine lights will come back, usually within 100 miles or less of driving. However, until the engine runs through all of those onboard diagnostic tests, a good diagnostic tool will tell any good mechanic that your vehicle had recent codes and this is something you definitely want to know about. Check out how easily this happens. Take a code reader and we're going to look at the codes on this van. Then we're going to clear the codes and see what happens after on the code reader. So just a basic little code reader made by Matco. We have some oxygen sensor codes in here. And a misfire code. So I'm going to go in and erase them. Three codes, gone. 
The check engine light's gonna be gone. So a dealer shop could take in a car that has codes, check engine lights, it could clear all of them, and the average consumer, because they don't have a tool like this, would have no clue whatsoever this vehicle had a problem. They could just clear the code without actually addressing the problem. They could clear it without addressing, or they might have actually, they might have legitimately fixed the problem, cleared the code. OBD2 system checks incomplete. That's an indication that codes have recently been cleared and the car hasn't driven long enough for the onboard computer to do all its self-test. And sometimes that could be up to a hundred miles, couldn't it? Correct. It's not going to tell me what they had cleared, mm -hmm. but oxygen sensor codes and this particular car has a head gasket problem that will set oxygen sensor codes and it'll take probably 50 miles before that code resurfaces on the check engine light because it's somewhat intermittent. Do you see how much trouble you can cause yourself when you don't know somebody like Ruben Byman? The problem the vehicle had can still exist without any light showing on the dash, and yet you'll never know until the system completes its own check and the check engine light comes back on, and now you know you got a problem. You understand how big a deal this is? Let's recap. First, Ruben used an inexpensive diagnostic tool to make the check engine light disappear Anyone could do this. He then plugged in a more advanced tool which clearly showed codes had been recently erased and the device indicated that the OBD2 had not completed its onboard cycle to determine if the codes were properly addressed. If you had $600 to $1,000 to spend, you could pick up one of these tools and do it yourself. As the buyer who doesn't have the capability, you will find out sometime in the next 100 miles if they actually did something to fix the problems. As I've mentioned, the dash lights will come back on and now you know there's a problem, but for many buyers, it's too late to do anything about it. For the most part, you're stuck. Whatever those problems were are now your problems. Is that what you were signing up for? Are you still going to be lazy about having a good mechanic look at a used car before you buy it? I hope not. For all you doubters out there who wondered, how does the homework guy dare buy vehicles without buying service plans and extended warranties? Well, the more you know, the smarter you get. When you head off problems before they come up, in the end, you keep more of your hard-earned money in your own pockets. For those of you who are tempted to write a comment down below claiming how a service plan saved you from catastrophic expense, well, let me say a few things that likely apply to you. First of all, you stink at vehicle selection. Second, you ignore red flags that are obvious to others. Third, you didn't do any research on vehicle reliability. Fourth, you don't have friends who are mechanics that you can take a vehicle to. Or fifth, you do have mechanic friends, but you don't use them. Or perhaps you're just too lazy to do any of the things I described in this video and you'd rather blow a few thousand dollars on an expensive service plan or an extended warranty and not even think about it. If I just described you, nobody should be following your example. Don't worry, some people still will because as Ron White said, you can't fix stupid. For all the smart people out there, I just showed you how your mechanic can save you thousands of dollars of expense on service contracts, hours of frustration of inconvenience sitting in a repair shop or on the side of the road, and lost time at work. Spend the $125 or whatever it costs to have any used car you want to buy properly inspected by a good mechanic. You got that? On a random note, I also wanted to mention that with all the social distancing requirements in place out there, we recently noticed that dealership finance officers had their hands in their own pockets. I know, mind blown, right? Hopefully a few of you sharp cookies caught that. All right, if you appreciate the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And do me a favor, would you? Include hashtag the homework guy in your comments below. Share the video on social media with your friends and use hashtag the homework guy again. Also, for anyone who'd like a question they want to bounce off of Ruben Byman or one of his great mechanics, use hashtag keep going along with your question in the comment section below and we'll forward your questions to get you an answer. The merchandise shelf for the Homework Guy store is right below the video and we continue to add fun new designs to it. Share a great car buying story in the section below and I might decide to send you a free shirt. And for those of you who like to say thanks with a tip, I'll leave the links for the Cash App and the PayPal in the description box below. I've helped millions of car buyers with videos and free car contract reviews, and I'll keep you up to date with videos just like this one. 
I have a follow-up video to show you what a proper vehicle inspection might look like when you take it to a great mechanic to look at it first before you buy. You're not going to want to miss that. Thanks everyone for coming back. I'll see you soon. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.